Let's talk about linked lists. A linked list is a collection of objects, similar to an array, but different in some key aspects. It is not in contiguous memory, but instead is a series of objects all over the place in memory, loosely connected together, like links in a chain. A linked list can grow or shrink, unlike an array, which is static. Also unlike an array, which is fairly easy to manage using the indexing process, a linked list does not use indexing, since the objects are not side by side, and requires more effort to process. Each object, often referred to as a node, has two main parts or fields, the data field and a link field that points to or references the next object, as you can see here in this diagram. A typical class definition of a node in a linked list is shown here. Class node with two instance fields, int data and node next. Data will contain whatever the data is for this object, and next is going to link to the next object in the list. So let's see how we would build a linked list from start. Typically the word used is head to point to the head of the list. It makes sense. And the number one rule is you never let go of the head of the list. If you do, you've lost all your information. So here we say head.data gets five after we've created this new node. And the next field automatically points to null in many languages. Here we create another object, but this time when we say new node, we have to link it to the next field of the head object. So head.next gets new node. And then likewise, we say head.next.data gets three. So we have to start at head each time. Now think about how we add another node. Same idea, except now we have two references to next. Head.next.next gets new node. And then same thing with assigning the value six to it. So you can already see that it's getting a little bit more tricky and cumbersome to deal with processing these values. Let's see how we would output these values. This one's pretty obvious. Print head.data. We output the value five, which is the data in the head object. How would you do the three and the six? Well, it would be head.next.data and then head.next.next.data. You probably figured that out. Now there's a little bit easier way to do this. Let's use a loop instead. We first make a temporary variable that points to the same object that head is pointing to. We're not creating a new node here, we're just making a different variable to point to the start of the list. So we say node temp gets head. Now we're gonna output temp.data, but we're gonna do it inside of a loop. And while temp is not pointing to null, we're gonna output and we're gonna move it down a step. So two steps in the loop. Print the data, move down a step. We're not pointing to null, print the data, move down a step. Still not pointing to null, print the data, move down a step. Now we are pointing to null, and so the loop is done. So this gives you a basic idea of what a linked list is all about. It's a chain of objects in dynamic memory. Nodes can be added and deleted. It's a little bit harder to manage than an array. So if you're trying to choose which one you should use, if you don't need dynamic memory, use an array. But if you want your list to be able to grow and shrink as you need to, then a linked list is the way to go.